Ini sampai ini pula Lah, ini nak itu ni What are we watching? Do you know the name of this? Karen Nate And even Lana was watching it Watt got this food on the street, Thai breakfast street food, and we are going to church today. Look what I made you. <laughs> it tastes better when you put it on a plate, right? Mm -hmm. You think? Or it tastes the same? Same. <laughs> Luke, do you want some rice soup? You're cleaning? Wow. Thanks, Luke. Good morning, Leon. Leon, we're going to church this morning. Are you going to come? No. No? Nam's coming. And Zane Wind's coming. Jack coming? Yeah. Are you going to come? What coming? Yeah, he's coming too. And Daddy is coming too. Yeah, coming. Yeah. Is Leon coming? Yes. <gasps> yes. Chicken. You want chicken? No. Okay. I'll make chicken for dinner. Leanne says he wants chicken. Mommy, we go. Go where? We go chicken. Yeah. I want pizza. I want pizza, mommy. You want pizza? Yeah. Say please. Please. Say pretty, pretty, please. Pretty, pretty. Leon, did you look in the mirror? Did you see what Nam did to you? Luke, did you get your face painted? You don't want to? You don't want to look like a little Burmese boy? Yeah. It's Sunday, I'm bringing the family all to church and I'm just reflecting on this past week and how it went and how where did I fail? Where did I succeed? It's good to reflect back, right? And be like, oh, I could have been better here. I could have done this better and God forgive me, help me do better next week. Just being accountable for your actions or their, your lack thereof of actions. Just wanna keep pressing in, staying hungry and asking for more revelation. Going to church. Mom's coming with us today. Oh, I didn't lock it. Samui Mercy Church every Sunday at 10:30 in Shawang Thai English service combined. Thank you, Lord Jesus, for to grow up with the ability of uh, the Holy Spirit 
and the power of the word of God to bless their family, family and everyone of them. Thank you, Lord. No, it's my Lila. It's my Lila. My Lila. No. We just met a couple at church. Well, actually, they came here last night and talked to Watt. And she's American and he's Thai. And Watt, he's from the South, like Watt. And they came in and they said, they told me at church today, they're like, wow, Watt is so friendly in the videos. He's so quiet, but in real life, he's different. He likes to talk so much. Right? No. Let me see. See him. Come see what a Lilikoi Bistro. Wait, Liam, that's Luke, that's Leon. I can practice. It's mine! That's yours, right? See, Luke, no. Luke, let Leon try now. Wait. Leon, get it. Go get it. Oh, I did it. It's mine. Can Leon do it? I want to see. One, two, three. Sit it. Sit it. Yeah, like that. Oh, yeah. See? Yeah. Do it. Go. Oh, my God. See? Is it fun? Yeah. Oh, look at Lila. Wow. Look at her feet. Watts <laughs> Friends restaurant was closed, so there's a lot. Most of the stuff is closed today, unfortunately. So we just came to Sea View. It's right on the beach, right down the street from our house. Just maybe a couple hundred meters from our restaurant, I mean. At least this is a pretty view, huh? Luke and Leon didn't want to come. Why was taking a nap? Remember when you had the beach bar? Mm -hmm. And if I was like laying out the sun too much, <laughs> what would you say? You'd be like, Lee, come come here. Get out of the sun. You don't want me to lay out in the sun. Why? I don't want to you to your body anymore. Now look what God, that looks so good. Big shrimp, huh? You're happy? <laughs> no way! Leon, give me the ice cream. I want some! Give me, give me! When I first got back from my trip to the US, I was getting so much revelation in my dreams. I was having dreams like every night, multiple dreams, and then remembering them, sometimes writing them down. And from the revelation, like I would have a dream and I knew it was significant. And then I would pray for the interpretation and I would get the interpretation. And then God would show me 
what I need to pray for each day through that dream. Like I had to go into the heavenly courts and get divorced from some some contracts that I had that I wasn't even aware of. Hi. Hi, Leon. No way. No more. We gotta eat some roll food, okay? I'm so grateful for my church, and I'm so grateful that the church believes in the Holy Spirit and the gifts of the Holy Spirit and the fire of God. And today, at the end of every service, they lay hands, and the fire just, wow, really, just really hit me. And it was, when you, go, when you have that experience with God, and you know the power and the goodness of that rest that you get from the fire, from the Holy Spirit, if you can't, it's hard, you can't really explain it in words to anyone. It's like, just bliss. And so many, there's so many believers that have not ever experienced that. And it's something that we need to talk about and look at. You need to ask yourself, have I been baptized in the Holy Spirit? Because the baptism of the Holy Spirit is what gives us power. It, it, it's what gives us our authority to to walk victoriously. And in my last video, I talked about being a kingdom-minded believer. I just want to read you guys a scripture. Because a lot of people, they know about the water baptism, but they don't know about the, the baptism of the Holy Spirit. And a lot of people yeah, haven't received that. And if you haven't received it, it's something you really, you must pray for it in these times that we're living in it's going to bring blessings to you to your family to your to generations your grandchildren to your parents every person that's close to you it's going to bring blessings to them if you feel like you don't want the holy spirit the baptism of the holy spirit which is pop power then you have to examine yourself and say you know what maybe there's deliverance that i need to go through why do I not desire the power of God? Why would you not desire the power of God? That's a, an important question you need to ask yourself. And you need to, to ask God to reveal to you what's holding you back from walking in that authority. This is Acts chapter 8, 14. When the apostles who were at Jerusalem heard that Samaria had received the word of God, they sent Peter and John to them. After they went down there, they prayed for them so that the Samaritans might receive the Holy Spirit because he had not yet come down on any of them. They had only been baptized in the name of the Lord Jesus. Then Peter and John laid their hands on them and they received the Holy Spirit. So the baptism, I've heard people receive the baptism alone in their room in prayer. In the middle of the night, it just came down. That you don't only get it from people laying hands on you, but it is also, but it is effective way of getting it. I mean, it's right here in the Bible. You do have to be cautious of people laying hands because too much people laying hands, if that person isn't walking in holiness and righteousness, whatever they're doing, whatever sin they're living in could be passed down to you. So you do have to be cautious about it. I received the Holy Spirit when I was doing the, my testimony. That was such a powerful time and a difficult time. It was a very intense experience. When I received the gift of speaking in tongues, that was in Bangkok. A few days after I did my testimony, I went to Bangkok on my way back to America and God supernaturally took me to a church. And at the end of the service, they said, if anyone wants to receive the gift of tongues, come up and receive it now. And then they prayed on me, like a big group of them, laid their hands, maybe not all of them were touching, laid, like touched me physically. And then they started speaking in tongues. And then I just, they were like, just let it out. And then I just started speaking in tongues while a bright light fell on me. Like literally, like almost like being struck by lightning. And I fell down and I got up and I was speaking in tongues and I didn't stop speaking in tongues for like a few days, all the way back to America on the airplane. I was just praying in tongues and it has been a huge blessing to my life. But even that, it's like, I know there's more to God. There's more of his presence that I desire. There's more of him I wanna know. I wanna have more revelation into who he is. Stop that. <laughs> <laughs> Hey everybody, everybody eats on the floor. Right, Lila? What surprised me, we were supposed to go out to dinner and he's like, let's just go to 
folk like fishermen's <laughs> village who walk in the street. Just want to look something to eat and say, okay. Sometimes cool. there's so many restaurants, yet there's, you don't know where to go to. Samosas, and everybody was like, No, curry pops in the comment section. Seems like just yesterday, out in the yard, there on my backs, where the sky was so dark, watching the satellites passing like dust in the air. And speaking of planets in distance and time, I reach for your hand and you reach it's for busy, my huh? This is Sunday night and it's busy. This place used to be dead in COVID during COVID. It was so sad. Your eyes seem to cast a mysterious spell. I felt the uprising. We have fresh homemade pasta, so we're gonna get one, bring it back for the kids. It's like three dollars, a hundred bucks. The first ones here, and now everybody else is starting to see. It was a good choice. <laughs> What's your favorite noodle soup place? We decided to come get noodle soup. <laughs> Every night. Every time when I come to buy here, yeah, then I get soup. I get pork soup. Yeah. I have pork soup. Noodle soup's good, it's cheap. The one problem the one problem is that they do put a lot of MSG in the noodle soups. <laughs> it does make it taste pretty good. When you receive God as your savior, it's like a pilot light of the Holy Spirit is switched on and that is your salvation, but you may not have been baptized by the Holy Spirit yet. The Holy Spirit baptism is like the Holy Spirit completely submerging you. It's like a fire that comes upon you. It's his presence that cleanses you. And a lot of people that might come later. You So just because you haven't been baptized doesn't mean you're not saved. And you might have been baptized by the Holy Spirit, but still don't have the gift of speaking in tongues. I had been praying for the gift of speaking in tongues for a couple years before I finally got it. And it was, like I said, during my testimony recording that, it was so intense. I had to really seek God with all of my heart, all of my mind. I couldn't leave my house. I was fasting. I was just staying in his presence. And in during that time, I asked God, please give me the gift of speaking in, in tongues. And I didn't get it right away even. I got actually a, a prophetic anointing at that time where I was hearing the voice of God and God told me to go to this church in Bangkok. And that's where I got the gift of speaking in tongues. And I was just so pre much pressing in and believing in that he's going to give that to me. So keep praying that you will receive the Holy Spirit the baptism of the Holy Spirit and the gift of speaking in tongues and the gift of prophecy. All of all of these gifts are such good gifts and they will empower you to be victorious, victorious in your walk. I hope this video blesses you and encourages you. Stay hungry, stay humble and seek him all in all you do. In Jesus name. Amen.